Hi, I'm Todd Baginski. Thanks for watching the video. For the past few months, I've had the pleasure of being part of the private preview for the catalog for Power Platform. This is a really cool new tool that is available to us starting this week at Microsoft Build. I'd like to share with you what the catalog for Power Platform is, and then in some follow-up videos, I've got some great videos that demonstrate how you can use it in real-world scenarios. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. The catalog for Power Platform is a location where you can publish and maintain Power Platform components and solutions so they may be easily reused by makers across your organization to create and maintain more Power Platform solutions. You can create one or more catalogs in each tenant that you have. So if you'd like to create a catalog per business unit or department or geography, you have that flexibility. It's only necessary to create one catalog per tenant. So you will need to have a Power Platform environment that a catalog is installed into. A catalog can have anything added to it that can go inside of a solution. So you can have two different types of things that are put in your catalog as well. You can classify things as an application where that would be pretty much everything you need in a solution to implement some type of application. Or you could classify something in your catalog as a component. And a component would be something used to build a solution. For example, maybe a one-step approval workflow or a PCF component or something simple like that that you would build on top of as you create a software solution in the Power Platform. The catalog has built-in approval capabilities, and you can also configure it to even auto-approve things that are submitted to it. And so what this means is that you have a gate on your catalog to say, for a certain person I'm, or a publisher, I'm going to give them auto-approval. I trust what they're going to approve and put into my catalog automatically. Then you may have other folks who don't fall into other publishers who don't fall into that category. And so an approval cycle is needed to make those things they submit to the catalog available for other people. So that's really nice to know that governance is built right in there. Now, as you can imagine, being part of a private preview, there were some hiccups along the way as we helped Microsoft figure out how to make the product more awesome. And so a couple times I needed to debug things. And I learned that the catalog has very robust debugging information inside of it that makes it really easy to shoot, uh, to troubleshoot catalog operations. For example, one time I was trying to submit a item to the catalog. And it turns out that item had already been submitted by a different publisher. And that debugging information helped me sort through that. The catalog is secured by four different environment roles in your Power Platform environments. These roles include administrators, approvers, submitters, and readers or installers. One thing to note, the catalog is not a source control system or a standalone software development lifecycle or deployment system. However, it is designed to complement these types of systems as well. So if you're thinking about this from the point of view of, oh, the catalog will solve all my ALM needs. No, it won't. It's part of the ALM story. I do have other videos that talk about ALM as well and how um, the capabilities that come with Power Platform and DevOps support ALM and then you could plug the catalog into that in a hybrid scenario. So why was the catalog really made and how does it really accelerate development? It really does and here's how it works. First, it allows you to publish and maintain reusable solution components. You can see in my screenshot here I have several examples. I have in the very top row a copy text to clipboard control. I have also a travel request power app that, as you can see, has several pieces to it. I also have a Contoso Canvas app template and also Contoso PCF controls and a base data schema. 
So the, a lot of these things can be reused and I can publish them to this catalog. And then as I'll show you, you can download them from the catalog, put them into your environment and then build on top of them. So this is how it accelerates development. It allows you to publish and maintain these reusable solution components. It allows you to reuse those same components in apps, automations, bots, pages, whatever you're building in the Power Platform, you can use the catalog to help you accelerate your development toward it. It works across multiple environments. How does that help accelerate development? Well, if you have multiple people in your organization and each has its own development environment, the catalog allows you to quickly deploy these types of assets to those environments very quickly so everyone can do their work. The catalog also accelerates development because it has command line capabilities that allow us to enable automation scenarios and integrate with ALM processes like I talked about before. So because you can install things from the catalog into a Power Platform environment and because you can submit things into the catalog also from a Power Platform environment, both from the command line, we can wrap those things inside of DevOps pipelines and do other automation tasks related to software development lifecycle and ALM. So it's really nice how they've built it to complement those types of systems and to plug in with them very easily. The catalog also supports an audit trail. It allows you to govern it with the groups I talked about earlier. It allows you to have uh, compliance by having approval and auditing trails and things like that as well. So it's really a full featured thing that makes it very easy to manage and distribute components to the developers and makers in your organization. So what does it look like, the flow inside of the catalog? How does that really work? Well, I've drawn some pictures here to help illustrate it. So the first thing that you will see inside of this diagram is we have the big blue box that represents the Office 365 tenant here. And inside an Office 365 tenant, I have several Power Platform environments. This is a Power Platform development environment right here. I have another Power Platform environment and notice the aqua marine colored catalog for Power Platform. That's where the catalog is going to be in my diagram here. And here is yet another Power Platform development environment. So I'm going to paint the picture here of how things go into the catalog, how they come out of the catalog, and then how they're used to create solutions and how the catalog makes that really quick. So step one, developers create Power Platform components. And where do they create those? They make them in their development environment right over here. So perhaps the developers have created one solution that has a PCF component that can be reused through the organization. Maybe someone else made a Canvas app. I typically see cases where Canvas apps are made as a base template that include all the branding needed to create subsequent Canvas apps in the organization. Um, maybe there is a simple Power Automate solution. Maybe somebody has a standard, um, you know, one stage approval workflow Power Automate solution that they built for the organization. And that's something that snaps into all kinds of solutions down the road so you don't have to reinvent the wheel on that every time. So it's the developer, pro dev, maker, it could be anybody, makes these components in their own development environment. Then what they do is they will submit them. You can see I've got the arrows here lining up with the purple submit. They submit them into the catalog. And when you submit them into the catalog, that's when that approval cycle can start or they can be auto approved. And so now that they are inside of the catalog, they are available for other people to use. And that is where we come into step three. So now a maker comes to his Power Platform development environment and says, you know what, I need to develop a solution for my company I'm going to go look in the catalog to see if there's anything that can help me get there quicker. And they look in the catalog and they find that they need to use all three of these things in my example to develop the solution that they are creating. So now that they've installed these solutions from the catalog in their own environment, they are able to go to the final step and create a new solution 
and they can include copies of these things in their environment, or I mean in their new solution that they create. So notice in the new solution, this new solution contains that base Canvas app, which was enhanced. It has that single stage approval workflow. It has a handy PCF component to enhance that Canvas app. Maybe also the power pages and the model driven apps that support this solution that the developer built from scratch. And notice the developer also added some Dataverse tables and things like that to the solution. So as you can see, when you have these building blocks available for you in the catalog and you can quickly install them in your environment and then build on top of them and make new things, this allows you to go quicker and faster and locate these things and not go, which environment did somebody make these in originally so I can go copy them? I think we've all been down that route before and spent hours trying to find where that thing was we created one time just so we could reuse it again. And so with the catalog, that problem now goes away. So I have other videos that have been created now and one of the videos shows you how you can use the catalog to take a PCF component, put it in the catalog, get it out of the catalog, and then add it to an existing Power App. I have another one that demonstrates how you can take a whole bunch of different things, like we've done here, even more than this list, put them in the catalog, and then pull them into your environment and use them to assemble a complete solution um, and that example also shows that we can take the complete solution and componentize it, put it in the catalog, and then pull it out and have the entire solution ready to run and deployed to our environment very quickly, which allows us to do an enhancement scenario to a solution down the road. So that's the last thing that's important to think about with the catalog. Uh, with regard to this overview video is it's not just for net new development. You can take things that you have completed in your development, put them into the catalog, and then pull them out later and use that for a way to quickly start iterating and enhancing them. So I hope you find this video helpful and just like to give a, a shout out to all the folks at Microsoft who allowed us to participate in the preview. We really learned a lot on it. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I'll see you next time. If you need help setting up the catalog for Power Platform in your environment, please reach out at canvas.com. We help folks out all the time that we meet on the YouTube videos. Have a great day.